Thank you to our sponsor, Factor. Looking for wholesome, convenient meals to support sunny, active days? Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you feel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Head to factormeals.com slash poundcast50 and use the code poundcast50 to get 50% off. That's code poundcast50 at factormeals.com slash poundcast50 to get 50% off. I would like to also thank our sponsor, lvjco.com. That's the home of Louisville Vegan Jerky. Keep it fake, folks. You want to get some plant-based jerky that is non-GMO, that has a shelf life of nine months, and it comes in a variety of incredible flavors. And do you want to get 20% off because you're a Poundcast pimple? Go to lvjco.com. That's the home of Louisville Vegan Jerky. And you'll get 20% off your entire order. And they have a new small batch flavor called Pizzeria Supreme. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. The only way to try it is to go to lvjco.com and use the code word Poundcast. You can get 20% off. And check this out. You can also get it at uh, Whole Foods or any wonderful grocer that has delicious plant-based jerky that we love called Louisville Vegan Jerky. Now, this stuff is made and bagged in the USA. Louisville, Kentucky. Shelf life, nine months. Shelf life in nine months. So you can stock up now. Oh, they have some cool merch now. They got pillows. Oh, that's a dog toy. Anyway, use the code word POUNDCAST. 20% off. Simple as that. Straight like that. Cool. Brent. Cool, cool, cool. And you know what else? Straight like that, my Brent. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash POUNDCAST. What's that? What is Patreon.com slash POUNDCAST? That's where you go to support our show. This show is supported by you, our listeners, our viewers. And when you go and you sign up on our Patreon, you're going to get the unzipped episodes. What, what do we do in today's unzipped? We unzip the package that we got mailed. And we also, Brent had kind of an after dark idea that we discussed. I think and we also played some more games. I think the, my idea is a pretty good idea. Yes. And I think you're going to want to know about it, but it is strictly after dark. Or, you know, it's after dark and it's unzipped. It's R-rated. It's and you know what? It's kind of X-rated, to be honest. It is, actually. That's why we have, that's why we save some of the X-rated stuff for uh, unzipped. And uh, like I said, patreon.com slash poundcast. Support us. And you get, get the, the unzipped. You get access to all the unzips from the past. And they're great and they're fun. And they're also, um, you get them a couple days earlier than you, than they, no, no, normally you get them a couple days earlier than they come out to the public. And they're mostly ad-free. Yeah. Yeah. A lot less ads. I'll say that. You don't have to hear this whole spiel. Yeah. Not that you don't mind too much, do you? It's kind of fun to hear us talk. Yeah, you like it. I think people just like to hear us talk. YouTube. Hang out. Yeah, youtube.com slash thepoundcast is where you can watch video of the show. There's some highlight clips on there as well. Uh, also, you can check out uh, Instagram. It's thepoundcast. Yeah. And TikTok. And we're probably on Twitter, and too. And Twitter, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and, check uh, it out. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, look. So, for this episode, um, we we played a game the whole episode, pretty much, I think, right? For the most part. We talked about... We talked a little bit talked, about things, yeah, but... A little bug situation. Yeah, some bugs and things. Um, I think I got... Well, we'll I'll talk about it. Um, we played a game where Doug plays these audio clips of... AI famous, famous actors and celebrities, but you know there's a twist, and you'll hear about it in the episode. But I, me and Aaron, well, Aaron and I had to guess it. Yeah. Guess who the actor was. I won't tell you who won, who dominated. You'll have to find out. So let's uh, get ready to play the episode. Let's I strap guess. in and we'll roll the clip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys right. strap. Ready, guys, ready to strap on? All right, let's roll the clip. Let's go. Roll the clip. Doug and Brent talking to each other. Doug and Brent 
What will they talk about today? Talking bread. Are talking to some pimples, Doug and Brett. We'll talk to their friends and Doug and Brett talking on the Poundcast. Welcome to the Poundcast. We are back one on one, face to face, head to head. Again with Brent Weinbach and myself. Yeah. DJ Doug Pound. And we got some mail. I got, I think uh, got somebody mailed us. Somehow they found the All Things Comedy address and mailed. This says for Dig Lesser Skip. And it's sent from Cool Studios, Cool Street, Cool California, 42069. <laughs> so and on this the back. could be, it says, it says the Poundcast Late Night Packet on the back. Mine says um, it's to addressed to Bryant Windbreak. Yeah, so... We might unzip this. We're going to unzip this at the end of the show during the unzip segment, which, of course, you have to be on patreon.com slash poundcast to get to. Uh, so... But you already already know about all that. It feels... I can feel a little something in here. Hopefully it's not anthrax, you know? <laughs> we probably don't want that. Right. Today is the... I feel the first true day of summer. The first true day. Because today felt like it was significantly warmer than, I should say hotter, than any day it's been so far in spring. And even though I guess summer starts on June 20th or something like that, well, today is when it really feels like we're, okay, we're in summer now. Finally. Yeah. I like that summer hot heat. Oh, you do? I can't wait to go to the beach. See, well, I've, been, I, I've been going to the beach, but finally I can go to the beach and other people will want to go. Well, I can't wait for it to be fall. <laughs> because, I don't know, man, things are flying around. It's, it's kind of creepy. You know what, I, you know what happened hey, what's to me? creepy? Fall, fall's, cr- fall's creepy. That's when everything's dying and that's when other things falling. Yeah, but nothing's crawling around. I mean, some things are crawling around, but there's a lot of things crawling around these days. or flying around. Actually, something happened the other night that was kind of hair raising what happened well i um came home w- one night this is uh maybe a week ago i was uh watching a video on youtube or something you know it's nighttime we're talking it's 12 30 one o'clock a.m okay late and, night and i'm looking at this video and then i heard something moving i said what is that is something moving I hear more noise. I turn off the video. I'm listening. It feels like there's an animal somewhere moving around. It felt that way. Uh Uh-huh. And I kind of, I got a little concerned. I also hear what sounds like someone has their lawnmower on outside. Yeah. A little bit like that. I hear, I thought, is somebody mowing their lawn? I'm hearing this... Right. Somebody got their lawnmower, and I thought, okay, is a neighbor mowing their lawn? Like and then and a gas-powered mower? It's like, like an this. engine, or like a just like an electric whiz, like this, like a buzzer. Uh-huh. And I okay. thought, are they somehow? Is that vibrating and somehow making things move? In my place, or you know what I mean? Are they hitting a wall, or what's going on? I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, I hear. Well, what mo- happened? Things are moving around. Something is moving around in the hallway. I look into the hallway, and I'm a little scared to be honest. And what I see is this big beetle flying ah. around. <laughs> <laughs> This big beetles flying around, and it's the flying the it's buzzing, and that's the lawnmower noise. Oh. It's coming from this beetle flying around, wow. and it's hitting the walls of the ah. of the hallway. <laughs> and that was the moving around sound was the hitting of the walls. Did you get him out? Well, it. I actually. No offense to anybody who's hardcore, you know, protective of all living creatures, but I have one of those electric racket things, you know? Mm-hmm. And... Those are made for small bugs. Right. 
Well, I wasn't- I didn't know what to do, okay? The thing is in the hallway, it's big. This thing is big, it's a big beetle, okay? Yeah. And, anyway, it hit against the wall and it kind of knocked itself out. It hit the wall and it fell onto the gr ground. And then it was on the ground on its back. Yeah. So I just put the- the racket thing, not- I put it over it and then... I just ran and got a, a paper towel, and I just picked it up with a paper towel, and uh, I put it in the trash. <laughs> well, I'm glad the, that crisis. I'm glad I, it wasn't a lawnmower or some kind of um, bigger an animal, bigger or animal, or perhaps a right, a bigger animal, or you know, a serial killer or something uh -huh. like that, or just maybe not a serial killer, but just like a one-off killer, you know, like. A serial killer, a they one kill off, three. A one-off killer. I think a serial, you got to do three or more. Right, right. Oh, three, is it three or more? Yeah, you don't want to be have any kind of killer. Yeah. You know? Um, I think it's a June bug. It was a June bug. You know what that is? Absolutely. May beetle. We used to get those in Illinois like crazy. May beetle slash June bug, I guess they're the same thing, but I've been noticing them a lot lately, especially if I come home at night. They're in the front porch area, and they're, you know, I see them around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're on the door. I think I think it must have come in when I came, when I opened the door, I guess, or something. Well, I I was just in Ojai, kind of camping on my friend's land up there. And uh, there was animals, wildlife galore, and I loved it. I don't... There's all kinds of frogs. Hmm. <laughs> there was frogs and toads, and he said, because of the rains, there's more than ever oh. this year, this summer. See, They're I don't... Hopping all over the place. I, I want to live you in... You wouldn't care whether if... You wouldn't care about a, a toad jumping around. I would. What, would you kill it or zap it? No, I don't... I don't... <laughs> I just... I want a force field. Can I live in a force field? I want to live in a force field. Mm -hmm. Can I live in a force field where nothing comes in except for me? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, unfortunately, we don't have... Well, you could be the boy in a bubble. I, why I don't you understand. A, why should you be a boy in a bubble? They have all this technology these days. Can't, you know, can't we just make force fields that are safe to be inside of? I don't know. I think uh, part of living here with and being a biological creature, you, you're going to have these other ones crawling around. I don't want it's that. It's going to be part of that. I don't want that. Do you, are you, do you find it scary living by yourself? I mean, it's a little bit. So you ever like going to bed and you're like, man, I'm just in you know, this place by myself. <laughs> There's no, like if anyone heard anything, no one's here. Well, you know, yeah, it is something to think about. Did you ever about. cross your mind? Well, there are noises. There's lots of animals. Right. I'm not alone. <laughs> see, that's how I see it. Those are my, those keep me company. The animals? All these animals, yeah. Uh -huh. Bugs, beetles. These buzzards? Frogs, I buzzards. call those June beetles bu buzzards because they make a loud <laughs> buzzing noise. <laughs> what about chipmunks? <laughs> well, there's that too. There's cats in heat. I was hearing these cats in heat. They're all making noises. I think I said that already, right? <laughs> That's what they sound like. <laughs> Did I already kind of do my impression of the cats in heat? Mm, I think you did, but let's hear it again. Well, they sound like this. This is true. They sound like this. <laughs> they're kind of doing these meows, but they're all horny sounding. <laughs> is that a real like that? cat? Mo no, it's just... <laughs> you know what else? Oh, oh. Speaking of creatures, Do you know who that is. Oh, that's a, oh, a person I would oh. know. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I mean, maybe you don't know him personally. Okay, but, but he's a famous person, sort of. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I'll uh, say he's. I'll say. I'll tell you this. He's a comedian. Okay. Is Jeremy Hotz? Oh, no. oh. He's America's number one. Funny man. Oh, okay. It's Neil Hamburger. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Do you know who this I, is? Uh -huh. <laughs> is that a comedian? No. Do it again? Uh -huh. 
Is that you? No. Is it me? Uh -huh. Is it me? It sounds like you doing an impression of this person. Do it again. Uh -huh. <laughs> if there's a musician that makes this sound, there's only one. I got it. Elvis Pre. Ooh, Aaron's Aaron's got it. <laughs> Want let, let him t take a try. Well, let me just hear it one more time, real okay. quick. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a musician I'm doing. Is it Michael Jackson? Me doing Michael Jackson? Close. It's oh, not it's Prince. You. It's Prince. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's Prince. I don't think it's a. In, I think that's an actual. Oh, that's a soundbite of Prince. Yeah. Really? Play it again. Uh huh. <laughs> He's like this little red Corvette. Uh huh. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> well, speaking of other creatures, <clears throat> that's a whole game, by the way. The sounds that these people are making and trying to guess the sound who the, is making the sound. You know. Yeah. Do you have a lot of those? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I got... Well, let me say this. Speaking of creatures, I think I got... I think something bit my face. Yeah. Well, right when you walked in, it, you look, I thought you had a sunburn, but I guess it it's just, only on one side. So. My... I... It looks like I... This... There's a swollen bump here, and I Let's think... Let's go! I think that I got... Um, I think it's either a bite or something, and I... It looks like I got into a fight, doesn't it? Did it look like I got into a fight? You should see the other guy. <laughs> and I think it makes me look kind of tough in a way, doesn't it? Do I look tough? You kind of look tough, yeah. Maybe you'll How scare these this? bugs away if you look more tough. Yeah, you kind of look tough. I got into a fight. I'm tough. Yeah. I'm a tough guy now. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'll play one. You can s tell me. If well, you can. that was one. Well, I don't even know who this is. I don't. They're not all labeled of like the, the voice. A lot of them are just random... Sounds I find on the random YouTube videos or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, how about this one? You got it. That's uh, easy. That's Brody Stevens. It's easy. You know who this is? No. <laughs> we'll do it again. No. It's a comedian? Here's an, I think this is the same guy. Yeah. Who cares? My f <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Who cares? My f I mean, you might not be familiar with this person very popular huge play it again no who cares my f my f oh the well, the mic who cares my f the 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 mic is probably joe rogan that's maybe another hint. oh okay so he's been on that show so, okay before. oh is it tim dylan yeah uh-huh good job play it again actually so is the other one hold on i'm cropping it my well, the, that sounds one? like him. No, that's that's a hard one. That's I mean, I know, I know, I know. That's hard. That would be hard no. to get. But the, well, I just the other one, one word. Yeah, the other one was good. What well, else? How about this one? Tell me they're not corrupt. Is that Neil Brennan? Tell me they're not corrupt. No, this is not a comedian. Oh, by the way, Aaron, here's another one. Here, here, you want to hear another, same guy? Yeah. If you want a good cigar, <laughs> tell me they're not corrupt. I know who that is. <laughs> who is it? Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He's good. Aaron, did you get that Tim Dillon one? Uh, I thought it was Rogan at first, but then it was clear it was someone on Rogan, so I would have gotten there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> How about this? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, do that again? Is that uh, t Joe it's, Pesci? It's a character from a TV show. Oh, I thought it was from Home Alone. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> here's, the, here's the same guy again, ready? Yeah. Oh, Wolfgang Fuckface. Yeah, it's Tony it's, Soprano. It's yeah. a Soprano. I never saw that show. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding, huh? <laughs> but I probably Do you know could. which guy this is from The Sopranos? I'm kidding, huh? <laughs> uh, no. I'll give you a hint. No wonder the food sucks. <laughs> but it's still Tony. Well, yeah, that's a hint for who this is. I'm kidding, huh? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long time since I know. It, well, it's that guy. He's in he's, White Lotus. He's the bald guy who oh. has the restaurant. I don't even And he's know. always at, at, at he's, he's like. She's his fucking fiance. Oh, Danny Aiello. <laughs> Danny Aioli. He's got, on account of the sauce, he's dipping. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Where? Wait. Where? <laughs> Where? Where? Is that, what do you mean? Uh, is that, no, guy. is it Oprah? Same guy. <laughs> You think that's Oprah? That's not like Oprah. Oh, listen, where? Where? That's Oprah. You think that's Oprah? That well, 
Aaron knows it, but here, yeah. listen to another one. What do you mean? You think that's Oprah? It sounds like Oprah. Say it again. <laughs> Where? What do you mean? Wendy Williams? I'll do another one. <laughs> it's hilarious that you think. DJ Doug Pound. Same guy. This is Duncan Trussell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gonna go be a guru? He's got a high voice. He's DJ not, Doug Pound. I guess Duncan Trussell kind of sounds fucking like... fucking Bhagavad Gita. He sounds like Oprah. Isn't that weird? I don't know, dude. Duncan Trussell sounds like Oprah. sound like Oprah. He does. Aaron? I think Oprah's got a deeper voice than Doug. Really? Than uh, Duncan. Damn, I don't, I don't know about all that. I'll, I'll find an Oprah soundboard in the meantime. <laughs> well, well, we could keep playing this game or we could... Um, you have another game. I have a, I have a new game. It's... Uh, By the way, well, whatever. So there's these AI... AIs everywhere. And there's these AI apps where you can type something in and pick the celebrity you want it to sound that does that voice you know what i'm saying it'll speak it in the celebrity voice oh. oh you understand what i mean yeah some of them are really good but i found this this one is so bad it's like <laughs> so busted so it'll really? be kind of fun to yeah to so, try to figure out who the who the actor or comedian or or yeah musician that's or fun whatever. that's fun and he's the, the they they usually talk a little bit about themselves about what they do. <laughs> Otherwise, I had to. So like, wait, you in. you tell it to say. I just type in whatever, and it it says. You it. said do the voice of say Arnold Schwarzenegger or whatever, and do you know talk about you go there. You, there's a drop down menu. It says actors. You pick. You go down the Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. which the Arnold Schwarzenegger one was so bad it was just like it was like glitched out. Uh huh. And you tell it what to say. You just type in, yeah, and then you hit enter, and it like takes 30 seconds and it yeah. renders out like a clip. Okay. Here's number one. Hello, can you guess what actor I am? I am an actor. I have been on Hello and Star Wars. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Say it again. Hello, can you guess what actor I am? I am an actor. I have been on Hello and Star Wars. He says, I have been on HBO and Star Wars. That's what I typed out. <laughs> Hello, I thought he said uh, Is Hulu. it supposed to be Harrison Ford? No, I mean, this isn't it's a newer actor, I'll say that. It's, is it supposed to be that that penis story guy? Hello, can you guess what actor I am? I am an actor. You know, I have Cody. been on Hello and Star Wars. You know, uh, Adam Driver? That's it. I mean, <laughs> I'm only guessing that not based on the sound of that. It was just like the Star Wars newer right. actor well, thing. Well, that's why I had to put that in yeah, there because yeah. it sounds No, so but old. I want to try to get it based on the thing. Well, here's a bunch more. You want to try this one? Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I am an actor. A wonderful actor. <laughs> that is so funny that you had it say my name. Yeah. That's funny. Say it again. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I am an actor. A wonderful actor. I think I know who's trying to be. Ooh. Is it Danny DeVito? Yes. <laughs> wow. What? Usually there's a little something. How did you get that? Usually it's, it's, it's off, but there's a... Every once, every once in a while, there'll be a word where you catch it. That's crazy. You know Play I mean? that again. I just can't. I don't Hello know. Hello, Brent. You like, even on Hello, Brent, you can kind of hear it. Yeah. Hello, Brent. You go, what actor I am. I am an actor. A wonderful actor. I don't know how you got that. That's crazy. Whenever, that, he, whenever he, like, extends the word out, then you can hear the, the voice more. But yeah. with the shorter words, it's like, no, nah, it's too glitchy. That's, I could not, I didn't hear, I didn't hear dick all from that. Check this out. You might get this one. Hello, Brent. Hey, and you guess what actor I am? I'm a comedian and a wonderful actor. <laughs> it's that sounds like Chris Hansen, if you ask me. I know it is. But wait, hold on. Let me hear this real quick. Let me. Hello, Brent. Hey, and you guess what actor I am? I'm a comedian and a wonderful actor. It's pretty good. <laughs> that one is the best one. I wait, know. do it again. I don't know how you're hearing this, Chris Hansen. Hello, Brent. Hey, and you guess what actor I am? Chris Hansen's not an actor and a comedian. I know, I understand so that, you but, I, get that out but of I'm saying it just sounds like him. Okay. Hello, Brent. Hey, and you guess what actor I am? I'm a comedian and a wonderful actor. What the hell? When is you know it who it is, you'll be is like, it Tom Papa? Sounds a lot like him. No. Tom Papa? Mm -mm. Um, Bigger. He is both those things. But. One more time. Final one. Hello, Brent. Hey, and you guess what actor I am? Oh, it's Lucy I'm a comedian K. and... And a wonderful actor. Nope. Louis C.K. No. Nope. Aaron? It's David Cross. Absolutely. Listen. 
Hello, Brent. Hey, and you guess what across. I am? Pretty good. I'm the comedian. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> damn. I okay. I should have had him say Props hello. To, Next time, I'll have him say hello, Aaron. Props they, to Aaron. Say, I guess Aaron deserves to be addressed. He's the one getting him. Maybe I'll get him out if they address. Let's see if he can get this one. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? To be an actor and a wonderful actor. <laughs> 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 It's a mess the way it like play rendered it again, out. It's, play it again. Uh, Hello, Brad. Can you guess what actor I am? To be an actor and a wonderful actor. <laughs> what the? Give you a hint. Um, no, no. Hold on. Okay. Let me, let me get Can't it. Can't replicate breath. That's for sure. Is it? Hello, Brad. Can you guess what actor I am? To be an actor and a wonderful actor. It's this a actually, woman. It's it a does woman. sound like him. Oh. oh. Okay. It's a not a woman. Okay. I thought it was. I was gonna say Sally Field. <laughs> Um, but, uh, or, um, hello, Brent. Let me think. Who's Carol Channing. Oh, yeah. Hello, yeah. Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Wait, it sounds almost kind of familiar. Yeah, almost. You definitely know. One what? more time. I want to hit? No, no, let me, one more time. I let me hear. Era, I can give you. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? <laughs> to be an actor. And a wonderful actor. Is it Cary Grant? Jimmy Stewart. No, 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 but... I thought Cary Grant, though. The f rhymes with Cary. Jim Cary? That's, that's still Cary. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, Hello, Brent! Hello, Brent! Oh. Right. Oh. Jerry... S Jerry? Oh, wait, let me try something. Larry. Barry? Barry Watson from uh, Seventh Heaven. Barry Watson. Um, Carrie Eloise. Let me try this. <laughs> no. I know that doesn't rhyme with Carrie, but I. No. I'll give you a big hint right here. I have him say something else here. <laughs> what you talking about, Brad? It's Carrie <laughs> Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling, but I just. Hello, Brad. <laughs> so random. That's funny, man. What you talking about, Brad? <laughs> what you talking about, Brad? That's funny. That's what you talking about, Brad? I should have it be talking. Wait. <laughs> That's funny. Play the first one again. I'm, I want to hear that. <laughs> that is funny. Wait, hold up. Come on, synthesize. Yeah, this website is called Uber Duck. It's really bad. What you talking about, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> that one actually pretty good in a way. What you talking about, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Wait, can I hear the first example again? I just wanted okay, to hear. Well, we've, we've I just want to hear now Hello, that I. Brad, can you guess what actor I am? <laughs> to be an actor and a wonderful actor. Okay. I mean, you can hear it there. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That's why this game is tough. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I used to be an actor and a wonderful actor. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I mean, what's funny is that just sounds like a generic robot voice. It you does. Know? It does. You know, it sounds like a Stephen Hawkins, Hawking's kind of thing. Hello, you know? Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I used to be an actor and a wonderful actor. It was nice meeting you. Is it Stephen Hawking or Stephen Hawking's? Hawking. Okay. Anyway, it sounds... Hello, my name. Hello, my name is this. Uh, hello, Brent. How are you doing? How are you doing today? How are you doing? One more time. Jack Nicholson. This one's, Jack not, Nichols. Jack this one's not great. Jack Nichols. But I'll give you. It's. It could be in the Stephen Hawking universe. I have some guesses. Yeah. <laughs> universe. That's the hello, hint. Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I used to be an actor and a wonderful actor. It was nice meeting you. Well, I'll, I'll do my impression of John this. John Ford. I'll do my impression of this. Hello, Brent. It is great meeting you. Hello. Lorne Michaels. Hello, Brent. Lorne Michaels? I'm an actor, not an empresario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it, uh, what's his name? You know, I know. The guy, uh, you know, um, someone like Vincent Price type, you know, uh, you know, what's no, the guy? Christopher, it's not, Christopher that's Lee. That's a good guess. Good or, guess. No, uh, what do you think, Aaron? Is it George Takei? Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that makes Brent, can you guess what actor I am I used to be an actor? That sounds like him. They don't yeah. put spaces. I put a period and it just That like, sounds like him. Yeah, it does. This sound one might like be him. tough. Let's listen to it. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I'm an actor. 
Can you guess what? Adam Recession, nice to meet you, Brent. It's Le Rocking. Liam Neeson. No, I know who this is. Really? How do you know these? He knows. Oh. Wait, let me hear this again. Let me try Just to Just listen this. to, like, the vibe of I his know, voice. Know, yeah. And he says musician, too. Oh. That's a hint. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I'm an actor. Can you guess what? Adam Recession, nice to meet you, Brent. Keep rocking. <laughs> Keep rocking. Um, he's, not, he's an actor and a musician? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it sounded to me like... Liam Neeson, I swear, but uh, I guess could it be Colin Firth or it could it be no. someone no. like that? Colin Farrell? No. Wait no. a second. Is he Irish? No. No. Oh, is he Scottish? No. Is he, he English? He's by distant interest, ancestry, but no. He's American guy. Yeah. Yes. One more time. LA guy, to be exact. Really? Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? I'm an actor. Can you guess what? And a musician. Nice to meet you, Brent. Keep rocking. <laughs> he sounds like almost like Robin Williams. About this? Like, Hello, Brent. I am a rockin' rockin' guy. <laughs> That's my kind of impression of him. Sounds familiar. I'm a hilarious rockin' man. <laughs> and I've done voiceovers. Hello, Brent. Can you guess what actor I am? Is not? it Henry Rollins? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, Aaron. It's Jack Black. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I Wow. I just, I, I don't know how you guys Hello, get Brent. this. Hello, Brent. Or how Aaron's getting well, it. Well, I mean, crazy. yeah, I wouldn't. Aaron's I a master. He's a master. That's we odd. should do a game called Stump Aaron. Audio is what right. I do. I mean. You're pretty busy these days, huh, Doug? I am, especially with it being summer and doing all the summer activities I do. You know, volleyball, skateboarding, going to the beach, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I, I know how it is. And um, it can be hard to make time to cook. But the thing is, with Factor... You can have ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping and prepping and cleaning up, too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Factor uses high-quality ingredients such as broccolini, leeks, and asparagus. They have 30-plus 34 plus weekly restaurant quality options like bruschetta shrimp risotto, green goddess chicken, and grilled steakhouse filet mignon. There's all kinds of options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles from keto to calorie smart, vegan, which I'll be doing, and veggie plus, uh, and protein plus. You can also mix it up and add a protein to veg a vegan or veggie meal. So you could do whatever, you could do what you want when I know, you want. I love that. What a time saver factor is. With meals like grain bowls and salad toppers, those are ready to go. No microwave required. Now, I look, I'm excited. I'm I, I'm gonna be I'm excited to try factor. Um, there's I was looking on their web the website and mm -hmm. I was the some of the meals that caught my eye were that I can't wait to try is uh, the black pepper and sage pork chop with smoked cheddar brussels sprouts and creamy broccoli mm, that sounds so good i i was also looking at the the turkey chili and zucchini with ancho lime crema and the creamy dijon pork tenderloin with a celery root cauliflower mash and broccoli i just was i couldn't i, I can't wait to try those i'm starving just thinking about that because i'm looking at i'm looking at the three bean vegan chili which you know i don't really make chili myself so that's why i think factor's cool because you know they're they're going to do it for me. And uh, <laughs> this other one I was looking at is the garlic and herbs roasted mushrooms, ah. Brent. And uh, I, what's great is... Yeah. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> what's The thing about it is sometimes it's just we're busy. We're busy. You know, I don't know I, about you, but I'm busy. I like to be able to just... I like something ready to ready to eat. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And yeah. It's just... And then, yeah, no cleanup, no... No no, no prepping. I two just minutes? Eat. I Imagine eat. that. I can yeah. Sometimes not even two minutes. Sometimes it's ready to go. Love it. You don't even need anything. So head to gar head to factormeals dot com slash poundcast fifty and use the code poundcast fifty to get fifty percent off rent. That's code poundcast fifty at factormeals dot com slash poundcast fifty to get fifty percent off. I mean, let's go. <laughs> okay, try this one. Hello, Ben. I'm not your father, but I am indeed an actor. Nice to meet you. Well, I mean, that's... Again, by the way, 
<laughs> what did he say at the end? Big fan, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Play that again, just for the... I know what it is, but... Hello, Ben. I'm not your father, but I am indeed an actor. Nice to meet you. Begin, by the way. It doesn't do this one, so, I don't know. What? I don't know this one. Oh, it's James Earl Jones, no, obviously. He says, I'm, he not, says your I'm not your father. That's, That's the a big, only, I added a That hand. was too obvious because of the, the words. Yeah. No, I, I think... It doesn't really sound like him, though. But yeah, it kind no, of. No, I didn't. It. I didn't get it off the voice. I got it off the. Not I should problem. add more hints into the things that they say. <laughs> Here, check this one out. Hello, Brent. I am a wonderful actor in need. I would love to come on the podcast. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> you know who it is yeah. already? Yeah. Stephen Root. You know who this is. Mm. Say it one more time. Hello, Brent. I am a wonderful actor in need. I would love to come on the podcast. I don't know how Stephen Root. Also, I don't even also, know who that is. Also a, mu a musician. Yeah, this guy's a, mu a magician. He's an actor, no, a musician, a musician, musician, actor. Mostly an actor. Yeah, mostly an actor. Dudley Moore. No. Um, He's still living. Keanu, L.A. guy. Keanu Reeves. L.A. guy. Hello, Brent. I am a wonderful actor in need. I would love to come on the podcast. It sounds like him when he says, I would love to come on the Poundcast. I would love to come on the Poundcast. Gosh darn. Hmm. He, would be, he would be sort of like, hmm. yes, well, hmm. yeah, Brent, Brent, yeah. Brent Weinbach. I, yes. love, I love the Poundcast. Yeah, that's, wow. that's an interesting show. That, <laughs> I think I do love the Poundcast. I'm doing a British version of him. But. <laughs> Almost. Okay, wow. Aaron, take it wow. for the win. Wow. <laughs> it's Jeff Goldblum. Yep. Hello, Brent. <laughs> I, I, it's so crazy. I am a I, wonderful actor in need. Listen, right here. Yeah. I would love to come on the podcast. You're right, right there. Right You're there, right. No, here, it's, right? no one, I, I know it. It does sound like him, but God, and I love Jeff Goldblum. He's one of my I know, favorite actors. I thought you'd get that one. One of my favorites. All right, let's try. We're not even halfway done. I got a ton of these. Hey, I can go do this the whole episode. Yeah. Hello, Brent. Me and my brother are wonderful actors. Indeed, I would love to come on the podcast. Is it Zelda Rubenstein? No. Wait, well, play it again. I know what it is again. Hello, Brent. Me and my brother are wonderful actors. Indeed, I would love to come on the podcast. What did she say? This person says, hello, Brent. Me and my brother are wonderful actors. Indeed, we would love to come on the podcast. Hello, Brent. Me and my brother are wonderful actors. Indeed, I would love to come on the podcast. What? You know this, Aaron? Yeah, 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 I do. Is it Maggie Jellenhall? No, it's a, it's a, it's a male. <laughs> it's a male, and it's kind of related to what we were talking about regarding your house. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. Basically, this is an air. This, okay, this is not from the past. This is a voice from the past. Yeah, yeah. Is it the the those Sprouse twins? No. Hello, Brent. Me and my brother are wonderful actors. Don't think Indeed, about twins. I would love to come on the podcast. Don't think about twins. Just yeah. think about this one person. Uh -huh. It's not a twin. Yeah. Is it... Oh. Is it Ricky Schroeder? Mm-mm. Is it somebody from a sitcom? It's a movie. This is from a big movie. Huge movie. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, can, I know who it is. It's Macaulay Culkin. Yep. I can hear it Hello, now. Hello, Brent. Me and my brother are wonderful actors. Indeed, <laughs> I would love to come on the podcast. Right. Did you know that, Aaron? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's Kevin McAllister specifically. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, no, yeah. it definitely, yeah, right. It definitely sounds, it sounds like it now that I could hear it. Yeah. Check this out. Hello, Brent. Don't be a fucking cunt. I'm indeed a great actor. Is Michael Caine? Yeah. yeah, yeah, nice one. No, that one I could hear. I could hear Michael Caine. He had that. I mean, Real dry. Michael Caine. He had that Michael Caine sound. Hello, know. Brent. Don't be a fucking cunt. I'm indeed a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this one. This one's good. This one turned out good. So you should be able to get it, or at least wait. Pause real quick. Aaron, did you know that one immediately too? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I couldn't think of the name all for some reason, but yeah, I knew it. Hello, Poundcast. Do you like my jokes? I sure told a lot of jokes during my lifetime. It's Norm MacDonald. <laughs> yeah. That one sounds like him straight I know, up. That yeah. one does. That one's good. You, you knew that one, Aaron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was as if he called in. <laughs> Hello, Poundcast. I respect you a lot. That makes one of us. So you like my jokes? I sure told a lot of jokes during my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't that crazy? What? It rendered. It glitched out. I oh. I did not have him say. Oh, blah, 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 oh really? Just, you didn't. I had him say. I thought that was a hint. <laughs> no, not at all. There's a hint in there, right after, right we'll in the play beginning. It again. I got it. I'm a punk has to respect your love. That makes one of us. So you like my jokes. So you tell a lot of jokes. It's going Roddy on Dangerfield. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I can I barely respect you a lot. That makes one of us. Oh, I didn't. It wasn't that. I just heard the voice. You a can tell bit. his like, duh, 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 like his inflection. a little bit. It was yeah. barely I could hear it. Here we go. Next one. Hello, punk has. This sure is a spooky game. Ha ha ha. Udo Kier. No. I don't know. Play it again. Play it again. I don't know who that is. It sounds familiar. I think I can get this one. Hello, Poundcast. This sure is a spooky game. Is it <laughs> Werner Herzog? No. Uh, that's a pretty good guess, though. You know it. You know it big time. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Hello, Poundcast. This sure is a spooky game. <laughs> is it Peter Lorre? No. Good guess, I, too. I think, I think that sounds like that. I, I think I, I almost can know this. I can hear it. Hello, Poundcast. How are you doing? He sounds a little bit like this. Is it uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. <laughs> That's not, we're not back to Vincent He's Price, known, are we? Yes, this is Vincent Price. Vincent Price? I said it yeah. earlier. You guys said it earlier, but I actually I had a Vincent Price. Right. Listen. Play it again. Hello, Poundcast. This sure is a spooky game. <laughs> right. Oh, I try to have uh, him laugh. Like, uh, as, ah, I, I, I hear that. I, I hear that. Really no, I could have got that. I just didn't think of it. Let's see if we can hear. All right, there's two versions of this guy. Hello, Pancast. I'm back for another great time. I'm a huge fan, Brent. <laughs> is it Aziz and Sorry? No. Oh. Okay. Hello, Pancast. My guitar is really loud. I have a huge speaker and guitar amplifier. I can play Johnny Be Good. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Only because of Johnny Be Good. <laughs> I know. I added that. That made he it. He says, up. I have a huge guitar amplifier. Oh, I couldn't understand Something like that. that. I just heard Johnny be good. I he thought. says, I'm back. I kind of gave a little hint here. He says, I'm back. back Hello, Pancast. I'm back for another great time. I'm a huge fan, Brent. I'm a huge fan, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> I check this one out. Hello, Brent. I am a great actor. You are a fan of my two shows. I will give you a hunt. Knock, knock. It's... It's Brian Cranston. Nice. <laughs> his two shows. What, Malcolm in the Middle, too? You're a fan of his two shows. M Brian Cranston? Well, okay, I guess he's not really in Better Call Saul, but he kind of is. I consider that one of his shows. Oh, but no. Really. <laughs> you got it from the, the knock? Does yeah, that what, cause, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, ready for another one? <laughs> Did you know that one, Aaron? That was going to take me more, more than one listen. I'm surprised you got that one. It was because of the hint? Yeah, maybe the not. Well, because I don't think well, he doesn't have that distinctive of a well, voice. I actually, even though you said two shows, <clears throat> I thought, well, maybe you mean Better Call Saul, even right. though you're wrong about that. I mean, even yeah, though that's not right. quite right, but yeah. Here we go. Hello, Rent. I'm a great doctor. You need a ride somewhere. Okay, let me talk to my drivers. It's nice and sunny outside, as always. <laughs> Sounds like Danny DeVito again. <laughs> It is again. Oh, geez. There's oh, a version Sonny. of him yell angry down in the Oh, know. it's like, okay, yeah, wow. Because <laughs> oh. you were trying to say sunny in Philadelphia or something, right? Or you're hinting at that. Yeah, it's always it's sunny outside. I got my, I'm going to go talk to my drivers. This is the taxi. Mm -hmm. This one's insane. Is it Sam Kinison? <laughs> huh? No. Oh, wait, play it again. <laughs> this was my guess, too. When you know it, you'll hear it. One more but time. But I'll, I'll tell you this. One more time. You want to hit? Let me, okay. Well, let me one more time. Hello. Is it Lemmy? It, no, is it the no. guy from ACDC? No. Oh, that's a good guess. He, this is a voiceover actor. That's your big hint. He's a voiceover actor specifically. Pretty much. I mean, maybe he's been on camera, but I'm not sure. Brennan Small? Mm-mm. Play it again? Yeah. And it's, this sounds like one of his characters, perhaps. Hello, I'm not you. I'm going to tell you why you 
Dan Castanoletta, Hank Azaria, bigger, bigger voice, more popular, more famous, a bigger, I'm just trying to think of a really famous voice actor. Is it the guy who did the king of them all? <laughs> oh, is it somebody like Mel Blanc? It's Mel Blanc. M- oh, wow. Listen, you can kind of hear like Tasmanian devil or something in there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Right, you can kind of uh, yeah, hear that, yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like a Brooklyn accent. That's weird, man. That's crazy. Mel Blank. Yeah, I don't know why it came out like that. <laughs> Check it's this. A, why didn't he do Bugs Bunny? I mean, is that you know? Is, yeah, it sounds like it's Tasmanian Devil know. or something. Hello, Brent. I am a comedian, a voiceover actor, and an on-screen actor. How are you? I love the Poundcast. This is good. Yeah. I know that. I almost can hear this. That. Sounds perfect. I, that sounds like this him. This sounds yeah. good. Yeah, that sounds like him. Yeah. Do it again one more time. That was it right away. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Brent. I am a comedian, a voiceover actor, and an on-screen actor. How are you? I love the Poundcast. Oh man, it really sounds familiar to me. Ah, oh, that really sounds familiar. What is it? It's H. John Benjamin. Yep. Oh. Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I would have got that, but I, I, it, yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like him. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Hello, Brent. I'm a comedian. I used to be friends with the big men until we did skits together on Saturdays. Who would you, by the way? <laughs> Hold on. What? I know. See if you can hear what he's saying. I know he said we did sketches on Saturday night, so it's a Saturday night. Hello, Brent. I'm a comedian. I used to be friends with the big men until we did skits together on Saturdays. Who would you, by the way? What did he say then? Huge fan, by the way. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't, don't know, know why I mean, this, this program uh, can't say the word fan. I'm by only, the way. I'm only guessing this, these things based on because they're the Saturday Night I'm just thinking Saturday Night Live. Is it Bill Murray? No. Is, Adam Sandler? No. No. Dana Carvey? No. He says I used to be friends with a big man on TV. Hello, Brent. I'm a comedian. I used to be friends with a big man on TV. We did skits together on Saturdays. Who would you, by the way? Sounds oh, a lot oh, like oh, it's, it's it's uh, David Spade. Yeah. Hello, Brent. I'm a comedian. I used to be friends with the big men on TV. Did... Yeah. Did you know that, Garen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. This one, I think this one is pretty close to the guy. Hello, Brent. I am a comedian. I say all the fucking words. And when we're surrounded by bullshit. <laughs> okay. It's, it's George Carlin, but yeah. that's because you're saying all this word. I mean, I could. Uh, you, wait, you knew it, Aaron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he says bullshit, it's like perfect. Play it again. Hello, Brent. I am a comedy I Say all the fucking words and when we're surrounded by bullshit. <laughs> it does sound like him. It does sound like him. Even, even the first thing he says sounds like yeah. him, too. Hello, Brent. Like the way he said, hello, Brent, it sounded yeah, like yeah. George Carlin, yeah. Hello, Brent. 9 11 was an inside job. The frogs are gay. <laughs> I love America. Is that Alex, jo- is that <laughs> yeah. Alex Jones? Yeah. yeah. That one's kind of easy. You didn't even need to give those hints in there. I yeah. know. <laughs> hello, Brent. My biggest regret is that I did an interview during my lifetime. I had a wonderful long life. Good night. Yeah, I know this is. <laughs> is it Johnny Carson? It sounds like him when yeah. he says good night. Wait, say it again. Hello, Brent. My biggest regret is that I did an interview during my lifetime. I had a wonderful long life. Good night. <laughs> good night. You know it, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> he did an interview? He, he, he says his he, biggest regret is he didn't interview you during his lifetime. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, is it Larry King? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, you know, when I was on Lopez tonight, he was the, one of the guests also. Oh wow! Yeah. Did you meet him? I don't remember. Hmm. It was Larry King and I think Deepak Chopra. I think the the best ones are be, are are in the rear view. <laughs> the last few weren't that great, but let's listen to him. This one's okay. Hello, Brent. I tell lies on TV, but also complain about lies on TV. But I sure get paid a lot to make baby boomers scared and outraged. I love America more than you and I love a real pink. <laughs> really, Aaron? You know it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about he scares baby boomers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a really funny clue. <laughs> hey. Hello, Brent. I tell lies on TV, but also complain about lies on TV. But I sure get paid a lot to make baby boomers scared and outraged. I love America more than you and I love a real pink. 
<laughs> is it Ross Perot? No. no. Oh. <laughs> is it a, a pol- politician? Political pundit. Uh, is it N- Newt Gingrich? Nah. He's a politician, I think. No, I mean, is it, uh, what's the other guy? Um, Hellebrand. I tell always on TV, but also complain Tucker about Carlson. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought that it, that was the first thing I thought, but I just, say I, th- I, th- I just didn't think it was going to be that. It's, it does sound like him. He goes up and down like he talks like that. <laughs> Let's check this one. I mean, the, the last three, well, whatever. Yeah. Maybe you like them. I'm on TV, but I complain about how TV looks. Yeah, he says, I, I, I tell lies on TV, but I complain about lies on TV. That's what I tried to have him say. Mm. Hello, Brent. I'm also a wonderfully funny man indeed. I like to make political jokes on the B.O. Huge fan, by the way. Piers Morgan. No, I got it. No, he's got it. Hello, Brent. I'm also a wonderfully funny man indeed. I like to make political jokes on the B.O. Huge fan, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Is it... He's on TV, he said? Yeah. Yeah. Political jokes? Yeah. He makes political jokes once a week. Oh, it's John Oliver. Yeah. Yeah. Couple more. Yeah, I know. I know somebody on his staff is a fan. These are ten points because. Uh, Hello, Brent. I will sell you something you cannot live without. Buy my products on television, Hitch fan. <laughs> <laughs> really, you Actually, know it, it does sound like him. It's so dumb. I know this. Is. Play it again. <laughs> Hello, Brent. I will sell you something you cannot live without. Buy my products on television, Hitch fan. <laughs> Hitch fan. That sounds like him. <laughs> He's uh, going to sell you products you can't live without. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. <laughs> it, sell you products you can't live without? Is it some sort of infomercial guy? Yeah. yeah. You would. It's know. a sham Hello, Brent, guy? I will sell you yeah. something you cannot live without. Just, Why my products on television? Hey, Shman. <laughs> I just, I don't sham even wow. know. I don't know the sham wow guy. It's a sham wow. What about I, the slap chop? I was going to say the slap chop. Slap yeah. chop guy. Hello, Brent. I want to be a comedian. I'm crazy. I love to wear my makeup. What? This is the final one. Pretty. Hello, Brett. I want to be a comedian. I'm crazy. I love to wear my makeup. I'm a prisoner. I love to wear my makeup. I forgot what I had him say. Is it Seal? I think it says I'm crazy. He wants to be a comedian. Yeah, he's crazy, and he likes to wear his makeup. Hello, Brett. I want to be a comedian. I'm crazy. I love to wear my makeup. <laughs> he wants to be a comedian. He wants to be a comedian. He's crazy, and he likes to wear makeup. Who could it be? Well, it is is it the lead singer of Thin Lizzy? No. <laughs> what? Is it the yeah, lead singer of No it, No FX? It's a character. He's it's Zach Alphanakis and Baskets? No, but that's an interesting guess. <laughs> he play, said play it again? Hello, Brett. I want to be a comedian. I'm crazy. I love to wear my makeup. Oh, I think I got it now, yeah. I can almost hear it. Yeah, it's not... I would never get it. I mean, the, the hints, you could... The clues, put, yeah, the clues. You put the hints to the together, voice. you can figure out what character is crazy, wears makeup. It's a character, it's not an comedian. actor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He wears makeup? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's crazy. He's crazy? Mm-hmm. And he wants to be a comedian. Why does it sound so familiar to me? Is it something from a new thing or an older thing? It's pretty recent. Kind of recent, yeah. Huh. Makeup. Is it... Huh. Mm. Any other hints? Or Aaron can just say it if he wants. Um, he, well, he did get a... He did stand up on TV. Hump... But it, it Rupert it, in the movie he did stand up on TV. Rupert Pumpkin. Oh, yeah. you're actually kind of close. Wait. Oh, oh, oh! It's it's uh, what's his name? Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's funny. I okay. That's that's the last one. But I did make a few. I did make one, just now. Hello, Aaron. I was a great actor. I wish we could have met. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Aaron. I was a great actor. I wish we could have met. It's Gary Shanley. No. That's a pretty good guess. Good guess. Hello, Aaron. I was a great actor. I wish we could have met. Huh. Say it one more time. Hello, Aaron. I was a great actor. I wish we could have met. Damn. Hmm. 
Mm. Hello, Aaron. I was a great actor. I wish we could have met. I wish we could go to my factory. It's Gene Wilder. Yeah. Oh, I mean, man. that the factory, factory was the... Yeah. That was just the giveaway. Well, if you're not getting it, I gotta get it. Willy give you Wonka. Something. Yeah. Um, well, that's good. Just uh, talk for a second. While okay. I type this. <laughs> so, um, anyway, shoot. I mean, what if, you know, what would be kind of funny is if I started doing stuff and you have to guess who it is, you know? It's pretty easy, though, I think. If, you know, it's funny. If a human does an impression of somebody, you're gonna. It's easier to get. Yeah. I'm trying to think of somebody that's harder to do and see if you can get that. You know. Well, you know, I think AI is gonna get really good where everything kind of looks perfect, but I kind of like it now. Like when you make those images, how like wrong they are. Like uh -huh. the eyes are off. Like uh -huh. that's the good stuff. Uh huh. I like how it's like busted right. and the right. hands are all backwards. Right. And, like there's gonna be a day where it's like add the filter to make the early. You know, people are going to be craving that, the shittier, like, because mm -hmm. they're going to just right, keep making new idea. versions. That's you an know? interesting thought, the idea of... Now it's good, but people, once it gets good, it's going to be bad. People, you, you know, know sometimes I mean? make bad th things that look like they're poorly produced video-wise yeah. or whatever. And then, they'll, yeah, there'll be this thing where, well, let's make it look like it's bad AI mm -hmm. or, you know, early AI. Or sometimes yeah. people have bad graphics for, you know, earlier... Uh, 3D graphics, you know, that were right. Bad make it look, look like, that, yeah, yeah, make it look like PlayStation One. Here, who's this? Hello, uh, Run. Uh, Hello, Brent. I'm an underrated actor. I'm dying to be on the Poundcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Run. Hello, Brent. I'm an underrated actor. I'm dying to be on the Poundcast. Oh, underrated actor. That's, this is something I would never. Just because I ran out of the the. The super famous ones. I'm going into the <laughs> second tier B. <laughs> is it someone like Joe? Is it uh, Billy Bob Thornton? I'll give you a hint. He's friends with Johnny Pemberton. Oh, it's J.K. Simmons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have this guy say the same thing, but it's not necessarily an underrated actor. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Brent. I'm an underrated actor. I'm dying to be on the podcast. <laughs> Do you say that's a different guy? Hello, oh, Aaron. Yeah, different guy. Hello, Brent. I'm an underrated actor. I'm dying to be on the podcast. One more time. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Brent. I'm an underrated actor. I'm dying to be on the podcast. Here's a hint. <laughs> Oh, I got it. It's Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Those are Star Trek noises, yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, that this AI version did not sound like him. Hello, Aaron. I mean, that's the AI. This is his real voice. Fascinating. Live long and prosper. Son of a bitch! It might have been oh, that's someone else. Older. It might have been an older version of him. Well, maybe we could wrap up the show today. It seems like we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> and then during the unzipped, we can unwrap our present. Hey, and you know what, by the way? In the unzipped, I've got... I got some unzipped stuff that I felt I shouldn't talk about until we go unzipped. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a new idea. Idea factory kind of thing. Something sexy? Yeah, it is. Something kind of steamy. Yeah, something kind of steamy. So... You, you might want to check out uh, Unzip for this. It's a new idea. I think it's a hot idea, actually. And so how do you do that? You know how to do it. Go to patreon.com slash poundcast. That's right. And you can hear, we're going to unzip that package. We're going to unzip this idea that I've got. I'm going to unzip my, look at this shirt I made. I actually made this shirt. Really? <laughs> well, I took a t-shirt and I put a pocket in there. It's my little hobby, oh, that's my little a, sewing hobby. That's interesting. Okay. Now I have a pocket up here because, look, I can put my phone up there. That's kind of interesting, yeah. You know, if I'm on the go, I don't want anything in these pockets here. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Does it weigh your shirt down a bit? Of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whatever it weighs, it's going to weigh it. I mean, does it, I guess what I meant by that is, do, does it sag does that it down feel, a bit? Does that feel comfortable? Um, yeah, it's I mean. not really great for a phone. Phones are actually kind of heavy. Yeah. 
But well, anyway, we're going to go unzipped. Hey, it's, thank you to Aaron behind the boards. And congratulations, Aaron. Aaron won. The hardcore. Abs- yeah, he's he's tough to beat. He should be on game. There should be a game show like this, and he could. <laughs> we should just make a, sh- a game show. This should just be a game show, this this podcast. I By the way, I thought your game that you were going to play had to do with music, where we had to guess the music or something. That was last week. No, but because you did that Thompson Twins thing earlier. Oh, that was just a sound check. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, All Things Comedy. Thank you to Jack Birch. Th- yeah. Thank you to Jack Birch. Sweetjack.com on Instagram. On Instagram. Thank you to Daniel Avila. He makes the TikToks, and we'll be TikToking you later. Peace. <laughs>